<laughs> so here's bedrock, and then you got this is a giant hydraulic pit here dished out all around us. It's great because you drive by, but you just don't you don't get the scale. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, oh yeah, it's a nice pit, but that is just huge. And then you got this is the old raceway. I guess they would have had what a sluice in the bottom, or they'd have been washing this stuff down too. I you think, think they would have washed it down, or just digging it out by hand. Good lord! Because they stacking all these. You can see that's all bed, uh, uh, river rock sticking up. Yeah. Currently in the video, and we're standing about right here where the mouse is, and we walked up this little tiny. See a little bit of a flat area coming up the hillside there, and that hill's about 40 to 50 feet in height. And we're standing about here, and this hydraulic pit is at least 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 50 feet deep on the low end. Um, these are 10 foot, 10 foot, uh, 10 foot contour intervals. There we go. Um, you just see, I mean, this thing is crazy. It, it's huge, but it's also about probably a small to medium sized hydraulic pit along this river um, at 50, 50 to almost 70 feet deep on the deeper side and over 100 feet wide and over 200 yard, 200 meters, sorry, uh, over 100 meters wide and over 200 meters long. Um, and they moved a ton of material and they would have been jetting that all out into the river here somewhere um, along a raceway. Uh, and then this trench that we eventually go in, we're still not sure if that is a, if that was where the raceway was, or if that was actually a drift mine that has collapsed. And was that drift mine there before they did the hydraulic pit or did they drift it after and then it collapsed? Not sure. It's really hard to say for certain. There's not much information on any of this stuff. Uh, but that little trench there that we go in that we probably shouldn't be digging around in is 10, damn near 10 feet deep and gets deeper as you obviously go towards the river here. But they've kind of culverted over in places to get access to telephone poles and stuff. Uh, but this just gives you an idea of the size of some of this thing and how much material they moved. Um, and a lot of times I think they said the this upper overbird in here of the bench deposit had minor amounts of gold and they didn't really get into the good stuff until they got down closer to bedrock, which I think even then some of the old reports stayed at like, so in the, what, 30s, in the 30s maybe, uh, 40 cents a yard or something. Uh, so not crazy rich, cause, but... Uh, they, they were able to make some money at it, I guess. Um, just baffled me. They never hydraulic it down to bedrock. But there you go. That's the uh, LiDAR view of the pit we're standing in there. Um, just just super cool going exploring these things and stuff. And this is all on, this pit's on public ground. Uh, I forget if it's USS, yeah, USFF or uh blm or something but it's definitely on some public ground that's not claimable from what i can tell uh yeah cool stuff yeah. Boy, that looks nice. like another race they, they hydraulic that too mm -hmm. yeah yeah all that mud it's fucking crazy it is growing up in there it used to be this bad there's a lot of big poison ivy in there too there it is uh, I'm not you ain't going in there. I can cut it all out. Yeah. I'm very allergic to it. Yeah, my dad was too. So I'm, I probably already have it just because it's here. <laughs> yeah. Really? Yeah. It's always bad. So this is a boulder. Yeah, you can barely see the bedrock under there, but. Smooth river rock boulder. Yeah. Oh it's not as deep as I thought it was. We're on a giant overhang right now, too, which is always fun. Take a couple steps back. Yeah, I like how that side looks there. So would you be able to figure out where, what layer the best gold would be at? <laughs> Just got to take pans. I mean, there's no way to know. My, I mean, it sounds like from reading the historic reports and all this, their best stuff was on bedrock. Oh, 
it was deep. I bet this was hard for them to work it because it's harder rock. But it, it breaks up when you get it wet. So. It's interesting that it, this whole thing's dished out to this level and they didn't dig yeah, it down so to that. You know what I mean? Uh-huh. Like, I, why, why? This was easy. <laughs> Probably. That was yeah, the loose stuff. Real loose. Real loose. Yeah. Sandy. There may be a better access. Digging in a hydraulic raceway where there's some exposed bedrock. Bleached out there. Just look at that rock. A bit of overhangs, a little sketchy, but what can you do? You can see this exposed. Looks like a maybe a chloritic, chloritic slate, chloritic phyllite maybe. Metamorphized slate. Yep, which would be phyllite. I can't tell if it has crenulations or not, which would tell you it's a phyllite, but. Hard to say. Hot rock, gold nugget. But I mean, here's bedrock here, and I'm digging into this some and putting it in this bucket. Let's we'll see what comes out of it. I can see the other piece here. Might try and clean out this little trough. Ooh, that breeze feels nice. That's just fucking crazy. Giant hydraulic pit. Well, it's probably this is probably a small hydraulic pit, which is the funny thing. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, I think they saw the the hole in the bedrock to crack. We're gonna keep digging on this here, and then we're gonna have to haul this back down the cliff side. I might try and film. Climbing up a cliff down the cliff side. Oh, I know. That's the hard part. It's gonna be a billy goat. Somewhere in the state of Louisiana, definitely. <laughs> yep. That would be nice. <laughs> Cleaning out this crack. Let's see what comes out of it. Blue bucket. Blue bucket this crack. Just see this hard pack material just hard pack borderline conglomerate scoop it into the bucket scoop the dirt dump the dirt But a quartz vein cropping out in bedrock can certainly provide a good catch because they're usually porous and either stick up higher or road down lower, depending on. I show you some of those nuggets I found there at Slate Creek with the quartz on. Uh uh. Yeah, quite a few. Beautiful <laughs> quartz all over. This is our descent. There's our trucks way down there by the road and the river. We got a billy goat path we got to go down. Should have brought my head strap thing, that'd have helped. Instead of, uh. Oh, fine. Try and get Nick not dying. Remember, Nick, always high side. Huh? When in doubt, throw yourself into the hillside. <laughs> Camera probably doesn't get this, but this is hairy shit. Yep. <clears throat> That's only what, like a 40 foot drop? Something like that. Don't worry, the rattlesnakes will break your fall. Yeah, Nick, you, you guard that bucket with your life, even though it has nothing in it. Oh. Awesome. 
and sketch. So that's not poison anything. Ah, uh, no. You're good. the worst Carolina tails fall to your death <laughs> fucking beautiful though fuck can't beat it Good, Matt. yep don't worry I'm going to look ma no hands Now you know what it's like to be the Taliban. <laughs> Almost there. It's a fucking 30 pound bucket of shit. The things we do to try and find gold. Yep. Not even necessarily find it. Just try. Like, look, there's a nice rock with limonite in it. I want it, but am I going to die for it? I don't know. Well, I found one. I You made it! Almost. Nick, I forgot my keys up there. You gotta go back for them. That was fun. <laughs> 